Two different mediums that in today's world use exactly the same tools. That is photography versus videography. One is actually a lot easier than the other and it's not the one you think. Video is easier. Video is easier than photography. And I'll tell you why just now. I'm Dean Parman from Travel Vids and I'm here to make sure that you understand that making videos on your phone is a whole lot easier than you think. Although a lot of people consider videography and photography to be the same because they share similar concepts like lighting and composition, there are obviously differences. And today I'd like to look at one of the main misconceptions about why videography is considered harder and break that. If you ask me, videography is a lot easier than photography, and I've got two reasons why. With photography, you have to capture an entire story, everything that's happening in that one single moment. With videography, however, you can break down that story into separate little pieces, each telling their little part of the story. Let me give you an example. I'm sitting at a table with some coffee. I could take a wide shot over there to show that I'm sitting at a table. Then I could do a medium shot of me drinking coffee and then I could do a close up of my lips going, oh, that's good. The cool thing with the video part was that I could change the angle three times and tell a little story about where I was, what I was doing and see the detail of the enjoyment of the coffee. With a photo, you only have that one chance to tell that whole story in that one single moment. Now, which moment do you take? Which angle do you take? Do you take the wide, do you take the medium, do you take the close up? Uh, do you take before the cup, during the sip, after the enjoyment? How do you tell that whole story in that one moment? That's what makes photography really difficult to be really good at. Anybody can take a snapshot. But to be really good at photography, you have to know exactly which moment is the one that is going to be the thing that people connect with. They understand everything about the environment, the feeling, the action. So my first point is, when you're trying to shoot a little scene, stop trying to think like photography. Stop trying to get it all in one moment. Break it down, change the angle, and get those wide, mediums, and close-up variations to tell different parts of that story. My second point is exactly the opposite. You have to think exactly like photography. And what I mean by this is people, the moment they're given a video camera or something to film, they hit record and they start moving because people associate video with movement, which is kind of correct. The thing what people get wrong though, is that they think they should be moving and it's actually what you're filming is moving. We in video are moving living pictures. So the camera can stand dead still. It's about me moving, talking to you guys through this camera. That doesn't have to move. We, as we develop and get better at making films, yes, sure, we can use gimbals or tricks to, to get those sweeping moves, but that's a little bit of a higher level. At this stage, you need to think in terms of photos. So if you're thinking about these wide mediums and close-ups, keep the camera still, keep it there. Take in that moment as if it was a photo, but roll for you know a couple of seconds at that exact frame. You don't have to move and pan and tilt and zoom and crash and do all these different things. Keep it simple. Make photos that move. That is the difference between videography and photography in two different opposite directions. I have my own very unique opinions and ideologies and ways of teaching things that are, uh, let's call it off the beaten track of conventional video teaching. A lot of you will disagree with things and if you disagree, let me know in the comments. Stay around, 
stay tuned, subscribe to this channel, and you'll see that video is easier than you think. <clears throat> Volume check. And in other news. <laughs> Stop it!